your paint brush art. If you're good at something, never do it for free. in one day i can't believe it i must have uh eaten too many oysters last do night. Know, do you know him whoops <laughs> i was gonna ask uh, uh, it is dave it is dave uh webster from identity crisis design and do you know, do you know him i just wanted to i was working on this last night and i thought to myself well i'm turning this into enough of a process that other people might like to uh, uh understand how it works um, working in Illustrator right now, uh, I don't know that this is going to uh, be the process that I end up using in the in the future. But it goes along with um, some things that I had learned from uh, some different YouTube channels. Um, I want to say uh, um, I'm I'm never going to be able to remember them, and I'm not going to go into my YouTube subscriptions, but. I know that uh, this is a kind of a cross section of or, or a, a cross breeding of a of a M McKay, I think it was uh, online digital. And Graham Nolan, I believe, writes this way, where he has the uh, just on a piece of uh, copy paper, um, the uh, uh, yeah the, uh, the the breakdowns over here, and then putting script over here, and I'm bre I'm breaking them down into layers. Um, over here in the layer palette, you can see right under the logo, um, I got, you know, page one. And if, if I eliminate these, you can see where, uh, page one is and, uh, the script. And then down here, I just have, I just have the lines. So, um, real quick, I'm going to, I'm just going to move this over to the side. Whoops. I'm going to move this over to the side and just kind of give you an idea on how I put this together. Um, since uh, Illustrator is kind of a, you know, every, everybody has their program that they're really good at. And I used to spend hours and hours with uh, Illustrator trying to get to do black backflips and stuff. So, um, and at the time there used to be this uh, cheat sheet. Uh, I think it was version eight is what I have. And it's, it's still um, the only version that this machine over here uh, will read. And that's why uh, I think, Thank God if they ever stop, um, if, if, if I'm ever unable to export a file in uh, version eight, I'm screwed up that with that vinyl cutter. Okay, so how I did this over here is, you know, fairly simple. And I have my, I have my page laid out to um, right here. You'll notice if we can get up, it's eight and a half by 11. So it's a standard... Uh, piece of copy paper. I get my line tool. Anybody who's looking to, to have things go faster, your left hand will be always be doing more work than your right hand. So, um, you know, we'll lay the cursor over there and it'll tell you what the hot key is, is for the line tool. And that is backslash. And uh, so I'm just going to kind of come over here and I'm going to make a line. I'm going to hold the shift key down so that I'm constrained to 45s and 90s. And I'm just going to bring it over like so and, and let go of that. Now, I can either use the select tool, which is V, or the direct select tool, which is A. And that basically is the difference between grabbing whole shapes, especially if they're grouped together like these are, or with the direct select tool, grabbing just specific nodes and manipulating them thusly undo undo so i'm just going to grab this one here i'm going to pull it all the way down like this to the bottom i'm simultaneously holding the shift key and the option key look at the if you notice the cursor um you, you can see uh way down here it's going to tell you exactly what the tool is doing so let's undo that, and and you'll notice I've got the, when I put the uh, the shift key down, I am constraining, and now with the option key down, I am constraining and copying, and I'm going to pull this line down here, let go of the mouse button, and I'm copied. Okay, I'm going to hold the shift key to select both of those at the same time, and then I'm going to go to object, blend, or that's 
uh, command and on the PC control. I work on a Mac. I am a Mac daddy. So uh, <clears throat> we're looking at control option B to blend. So if you don't feel like going all the way up to the object, you just hit control option B and it throws a blend in. Now we go back up to object blend and we go to blend options. And it, let me bring this over. I just got this other monitor over here and um, a lot of my menus and stuff keep popping up over on the other side. We want specified steps. Okay. Now the specified steps right now, it's saying that's 988. So if we just put in like a five and then click on preview right here, it's going to show us five. It's not going to include the top. It's not going to include the bottom. It will not include the first and last. That number in there represents only which uh, lines are going to be in there. So um, I'm not going to bother to count all those. I'm just going to kind of get closer and, um, and, and we can see them line up maybe a little bit. Looks like actually looks like that was looks like that was a good guess um they are all lined up perfectly okay now you can take this and and leave it that way as a as a blend so that anytime you're grabbing them they're all in their own they're all in their own group and uh or you can um if you need to manipulate each one of these objects on their own you can uh, release them, which is uh, get four fingers together on that. And that is going to be option, command, shift, B. And that, whoops, that's going to release it. That's not what I want to do. Sorry. I want to expand, blend, expand, which has no hotkey. And now each one of these becomes their own object, but they're still grouped. So you want to ungroup them, which is command or on PC control shift g that's ungroup you you hit that and then click off and click back on again and you can see each one of these is their own individual thing okay now i've got mine grouped over here and i know that i've, I've got them exactly where i want them so i just wanted to show you guys that i'm going to put this stuff all back where it belongs okay now uh what we're doing here with the text is um and again this is this is just the way that I'm laying things out uh, for now. Um, I'm trying to organize my thoughts as well as um, it, you know, the, the, I don't want to get into it too, too deep because I do want the book to get done someday. Sorry, guys. Um, and this is helping me with my limited time. Uh, I want to get this right the first time. I don't ever want to pick up a book that I, I'm sure it's very hard to accomplish this. Um, all artists, I believe, uh, you know, true artists are, are like this very rare that you pick up a piece that you did and you don't just, you know, not overanalyze, but, you know, you critique it like, I would maybe would have, if I was going to do this again, I would change this and this. Um, I do not want a George Lucas, my comic book. So um, I don't want, uh, I want to get it right the first time as much as humanly possible. So with that in mind, I'm you basically see, you know, I've sketched this stuff out already. Um, I tried putting some lettering in here and changed some stuff, uh, you know, depending on timelines. The very beginning of this book, timelines are very important because a lot of things happen in a short amount of time. And um, to, to the extent where even like last night, I was like, I, I can, it, if, if this happens then, then how does this happen? They might be in two places at the same time that I'm like literally – you know, <laughs> we're looking at a clock in my head. And uh, anyways, so uh, word balloon one, word balloon two, three, four, and obviously those reference over here. So what's going on with this uh, lettering? Um, you can see it's all one big group of lettering. And you can also see that uh, if I'm smart, I will control or command two lock this down so that it doesn't get moved that way whenever i'm grabbing this off of page one um i'm i'm good to go i don't need to worry about you know grabbing the stuff underneath that can get very uh, very confusing uh when you have layers on top of each other which is why i've got these top three turned off okay so 
I'm going to grab this. You can see down here, and this might be a little OCD. My text is right on the line. And up here, I'm a little bit off the line. And uh, I don't want something like that to where by the time I'm done typing my, if I get a page this long, I don't want the lines on the page to end up being like a strike through. So I'm going to go over here to the character menu. And you're going to want to make sure that you've got... <clears throat> that you show options because there's, I mean, that's really more for like this part of the menu will show up whether you've got the options hidden or not. And this is the, uh, the letting so the space between the space between the lines. Kerning is the space between the letters. So a little bit of a uh, lettering jargon for you. I'm going to click this back <clears throat> so that I'm at 18 points and that looks like it solves it. I had originally, I had been working on this on a much bigger uh, area and I wanted to kind of tighten things up before I started doing this video. So I was like, well, I'm going to make it like an honest to God size of a <clears throat> piece of copy paper, 11 by eight and a half. Um, so the, uh, the text, the font size is a uh, 1505. I don't know that that really makes a difference, but um, whenever I shrink stuff, I always end up in some you know, decimal land. And, uh, and I don't want that. Like 15 points of type, 18 points of letting. Okay. So um, I've got us, I've, I've, I've got this page laid out. This is the, the one that was in the oven. And uh, this is another piece of casserole that was in the oven. And something that, that, that this also uh, gives me the opportunity to do is play with, um, with my, with my frame. Now there are my panels rather, I might change this. Um, of course, there's always an opportunity this early in the game to decide to change a panel, make it wider, shorter, some weird space. But then um, in, in the interest of for right now, as this page stands, if I kept it like this, I was looking at this and slapping myself on the back for being innovative and having the frame wall, uh, the panel wall kind of direct the um, direct the line of sight of the reader so that they know where to go next. Because when I, even though I drew this out and I know what's happening, coming back to it, you know, days later, <clears throat> it might be a little confusing to me. So, and if it's going to be confusing to me, it might be confusing to the reader. So I, instead of having a straight panel wall go up and down, I decided to put these, uh, I, uh, these arrow marks or this chevron looking, um, you know, thing to the panel wall. And I might stick with that just because um, it's, it's, I, I think it's effective. I don't know. Um, I might have to, um, you know, just kind of shorten things up. I don't want people to go to the wrong, you know, to, to, to go to the wrong sequence and there's plenty of room to fix. So anyways, that was that page. Uh, this is the next page after that. And I believe, didn't we have some? Thanks for your apartment. Uh, I wonder, actually, let me go up here and revert because I might have. I remember writing all that out and something, something might have happened to it by mistake. Yeah, that's better. Uh-oh, we got bad words in there. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> so uh, I got to the point where I had these three pages laid out, and so I thought that it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring you along and um, wh uh, while I get this next page laid out. Is the right one? That is the right one. Three. Yeah. Okay, and then I uh, got to get my script. Thank you, Julius. Uh, all right. Okay, so I'm just basically just going to uh, copy that. Commander Control W, close the window, uh, paste it, and then uh, make it as big as I need to right here. Um, I did actually manage to um, 
pointing at the screen like you guys can see. I actually had managed to um, write in, you know, the name of the book, the issue and the page number on my hard copies after I, uh, after I scanned them in. Okay, so uh, we're basically going from seeing the advertisement on this billboard here and making transition to seeing the same advertisement on our, on our, 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 our Chola. Uh, Trish right here. So instead of making a new oval, I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to borrow. Uh, I'm going to borrow any one of these. Yeah, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back up here and I'm just going to paste it down. These don't have to be perfect. All right, you guys might be interested in this. Okay, so when you have the uh, direct select tool that is just for, you know, like if I grab this, okay, I'm going to change the shape of it, and I don't want to do that. So undo. Everybody better know what undo is. I'm not going to explain Command Z or Control Z. Well, there I just did. Now, if I hold down uh, the Option key, um, Option Alt, you see that little plus shows up next to the, 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 the cursor there. Now I've got all of them. Now I can let go and move this around as one piece, the way that direct select tool would, or I can continue holding it down and create copies of it uh, each time I let go. But uh, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is rotate this. So I hit R for rotate and my, my uh, plus cursor there. Um, let me see if I, there's no way that I can zoom in so that you can see exactly what um, the tool itself looks like here. There's a center point that you can move so that when you rotate it, it's moving that way versus just spinning. Um, that's just a little, a little, a little thing there. So I'm just going to put this here Hit rotate, maybe spin that around. And then I'll put my, you know, I'm going to go to the other screen too. Again, one more time. I just want to copy this because I want all my text to be the same size. And the easiest way to do that is to just copy the last, uh, the last one that you had there. So I'm going to stick that there. One. All right. That is a uh, Trish. Oh, I need to learn how to type so bad. Okay, and then, you know, there's some sound effects and stuff. I mean, I can throw any font in there, really. And I was using a nice uh, uh, Fink, uh, my Rat Fink uh, text. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll uh, see so you go to Fink. I was using, I was using this. Oh yeah, we can't forget that this is in fact the next day. And I'll probably put that up here. I don't know why I have it written down here, but anyways, moving right along, um, the same thing's gonna happen here and here. Now these are all these are all gonna move around at some at somehow and You know, we'll you know figure out where these uh, where these go. But you know, I've already kind of kind of figured out like that. There's word balloons here and here and here. So we'll do this. Oops, sorry guys. Sometimes 
work in the uh yeah, uh, this is a, a little bit of a, a hiccup here when you're dealing with the uh, the text tool. Okay, um, you really want to remember to hit that command or control key to get your direct select, alt, then here, and then here, and then here, and then change the numbers and change the numbers later. And again, this is this is more of a tool to just kind of help me figure out um, where I want my my dialogue um if it's if it's actually in the right place or not whoops two people talking at once um it was a it was a post and i think i mentioned this earlier in, the, in another review that i did that that there is you know that you know the the artist needs to keep the writer in mind needs to keep the um the, the 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 writer needs to keep the artist in mind. Needs to keep the writer in mind. Needs to keep the letterer in mind. And you know that's you know why it's referred to as a as a team. Um, but basically, what we're looking at here is just a transition from all of the action from the night before into the, these characters are going to be drawn into this uh, into this drama. And while I do have i've got good i've got good script here and um so so basically that's you know what's going to happen is why i've got my lettering spaced out the way that i do so that when i hit two i'm landing right on the next line and i don't have to worry about any of these things striking through but that's something like this now the reason that i have it set up like this honestly is, is it's the way that I have these, you know, these these pages set up. Um, again, this is something that I saw uh, Graham Nolan doing. At at first, I had I had this doubled up over here, but then you know, as I'm reading this script and I'm writing it down uh, on these lines over here, I'm also taking the time to um, for for when it happens, maybe change some dialogue. Um, I consider a lot of this stuff at this stage. It's it's all very it's all very fluid, and um, there might even be like like I was saying like last night, not not scared into a point, but I was like there was an uh oh moment where I was like oh wait we've been going on this premise for this long, and now that I'm laying it out, I don't even know if it's humanly possible for these two things to happen at once. Um, so that's. That's why I'm going through this. I'm 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 trying to get it cleaned up and as um, and ready to move on to the next stage. So what was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because some of these some of these early pages don't even have the uh, don't even have the lettering in it. And if I was really smart, I would have this document pulled up so that I can just copy and paste. But if I do that, then I might end up pasting a different typeface and a different point size, and I'll just go back to more clicking and stuff like that. And I'm not really, um, I'm not really down for that. Uh, incidentally, I was uh, um, looking to possibly um, actually throw down the 40 bucks for this right here, this superscript. Um, whenever uh, we, we get down, I mean, I'm not even done with issue one yet. It's still in this stage, so I'm, I'm not even bothering with that yet. But the, the time may come. Let me finish. Where am I at? Finish yeah, this. I could say this, or I could go like these, these breaks, this break conversion. I think that's what it was. Um, oh, so uh, Julius, <clears throat> Julius uh, Freeman, he's, 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 he is the ghetto dragon. 
um, graciously allowed me to put money in his pocket to help me with this. And um, it's been, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Um, I like, uh, I like the interaction that we have. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's smart and uh, he's, he's, he's probably underpriced, but, um, uh, and, and, uh, and we have, we have a really good understanding about what, what's gonna, what's happening here with this process. Um, there's things that I want to get specific about with this comic book that are technical that um, I know and he knows that he might not be um, too knowledgeable about. It would be like me talking to somebody about, you know, like filmmaking and all I've ever done is shot video with my iPhone. But like if we see like just a, just as an aside, I have spent some time in these spaces I am not a mechanic, but I do understand the difference between you know, like drum brakes and disc brakes and people that are working on hot rods, which is what is part of this book. It's an inter integral part of this story. So if I see uh, an opportunity to get um, not overly realistic or overly detailed, but instead of saying, you know, hey, Trish, quit playing with your phone and help me finish this, if I just put in like brake conversion then somebody reading this book is going to go like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. Um, it can go even further. And all the and all it is is this. In old cars, you had those drum brakes that was, uh, went all the way around the car. They are a pain in the ass when you're doing your own brakes, change the shoes and stuff like that. So a lot of times when people get these old cars and they're not keeping them stock, they want to um, – um, they, they want to update them with like newer technology. Well, it still looks old on the outside, but it's newer on the inside and the, and the mechanics and the inner workings. It's not a restoration. They'll, you know, change it to a nice high tech braking system all the way around. And that's what our characters are doing here. So by just putting those three words in there, disc brake conversion, um, it's a little inside baseball, but it's sort of like, you know, in special effects, if you chop somebody's head off and you just see just for three frames that somebody bothered to make the neck look like you could see the esophagus and you could see the bones and, and it's really mostly just gore, but the more realistic you make it, even just for those couple of that, just that one split second, that thing gets in your head and stays there. And, um, it's, it's, well, that's, that's why I'm bothering. Come on, monitor. New monitor, very stiff. So, <clears throat> sorry, the OCD is kicking in. All right, so uh, yeah, the disc brake conversion, and then we'll go down and get to word balloon number three, and, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't even remember. I think I wrote it in the word balloon under here. We need this done today. Yeah. Now, I can't say that uh, this is going to look super perfect the way this is supposed to go. You know, and I don't even know if I, if, you know, if I'm going to stick with the word balloons in, in these areas. Um, three, come on, get on there. Dot, dot, dot. We need this done today. All right. So, but anyways, I just, what is this? So yeah, a little half an hour of uh, a little bit of tips and tricks with Illustrator just to give you guys, I mean, there's a little lesson on, a little lesson on, on your blends, a little lesson on, um, uh, on your, your letting and your, your kerning with your, right, what happened there? How come I? Yeah. Oh. What the hell happened? Hold on a second. <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Yeah. Why is this page so big? Oh, I know. Cause I reverted. All right. Yeah. I reverted the document. This is actually how big it is. I made it smaller for, uh, for y'all to do this lesson, but I'll, I'll shrink it back down again and do all that stuff once I turn the camera off. But I hope you enjoyed what you saw here. If you find there's, if you get any, if there's any utility to this for you, then great. Um, I fully expect by the time I get into 
uh, by the time I get into uh, Clip Studio Paint, by the way, uh, Jimmy, uh, Reyes, I did manage to get that graphics card in, this old 2008 Mac, um, and, and it upgraded things pretty good, although I had to... I had to where is it? I had to kick one of these old monitors out from over here, and uh, gosh darn it, went and spent money on a on a much on a much better one. Here, let's see if I can do this. I had to grab this thing, which is I mean it's kind of cool because it it does this, okay, but it's not like your phone where, uh, you know, you just spin it and everything is um everything is is at the angle that you want it i have to go back into like monitor settings and then and then i have to tell the computer to turn this sideways otherwise i only get this area out of here but um i know this it's <laughs> I, I'm, I wouldn't even consider it to be like a private joke but it's just it's funny to me because um i was having i was having issues being able to draw and stream at the same time on the computer i was getting that lag because my my graphics card was top of the line uh, in 2008, so um, I got a used one. I think I can probably get maybe two or three more years out of this Mac before I have to uh, upgrade into something that's going to blow the doors off of uh, everything else that's out there. And I've got all that time to save up all that money <laughs> uh, to to do that. So sorry, guys. This is there we go. It's a little bit better. How do I look? How do I look now? Very, very pretty. But uh, yeah, so Jimmy, I did. I, I, what did I do? Instead of spending the, the, the money that I would need to on like this, like this newer computer, I think I, it was like a total of maybe five or six hundred bucks to get me where I want to go. Cause I can be really, I can be really uh, cheap sometimes. I prefer to be known as frugal. Um, but I also want to be honest with myself about uh, about who I am. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. I am going to, because I am that guy. Um, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, uh, you know, like I said, I expect all this to change whenever I get into like Clip Studio Paint. I know there's going to be other ways to do lettering and better ways to do lettering, and and. Um, <laughs> when it all comes right down to it, if, uh, if if time is a factor, I will just, you know, get somebody else to do that. Right on the right on the heels of. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. I start making this motion, and you know, well, which is which? Who's which one's the which one's the real Dave? Which one's the, which one's the real Dave suffering from an identity crisis? So uh, there it is. Like and subscribe. Uh, if you like this content, I'll try to put more of it out as uh, as time allows. And, you know, time doesn't always allow. So uh, until I learn how to give myself a nice, healthy schedule, um, it's it might be it might be sporadic, but um, at least it'll at least I'm honest about it. So there it is. Like and subscribe and uh, make sure you check out. Um, make sure. Yeah. So, well, it's, the, the guys that I mentioned, check out Dragon Rage, check out the Ghetto Dragon. And uh, and while you're out there, check out the guys from 656 Comics. Um, I'll put some links in the description. I know it's like way at the end of the video, but why not why not mention some some guys who who even just by spreading knowledge uh, have helped me immensely. So I'm going to end this, drink some more coffee, maybe get some more of this work done. And then, and then I am off to do my eight hour bit. So, um, peace out chaps.